Present Perfect and Simple Past. I am a swimmer. This action is true right now. In fact, I have been a swimmer for many years. I have been a swimmer since I was seven years old. A long time ago. But I won't tell you when that was. Notice we are using the present perfect tense with have and the past participle. You probably know we are using this because it is an action that started in the past, continues now, and will probably continue in the future. You also know that we are using this tense because we have the word since. You may remember that we can use since before a year or a point in time. I have been a swimmer since the 90s. But we can also use since with a clause. Remember, a clause means we have a subject and a verb. There are two clauses in this sentence. I have been a swimmer and since I was seven years old. In the clause that starts with since, use simple past. In the independent clause, use present perfect. Here's another example. Emily and I have known each other since we started working at UCI. Have known is in the present perfect and started is in the simple past. Now I want you to try it. Here's our timeline. We are looking at the past. We are going to talk about a bad driver. John. John got his driver's license, but look at what happened after that. Can you complete the sentence using the verbs get and crash? Take a moment to think about it. If you said, John has crashed his car twice ever since he got his license, then you're right. Good job. And it is possible that he will crash again. Notice the phrase ever since. It has the same meaning as since. Watch a short video. There's no sound, so just watch, and then I'll ask you to make a sentence about it. Now use these words to form a sentence about what happened. The verbs in gray are not in the correct form. You will need to change them. That means you may need to add a word that is not here to form the correct verb. Pause the video if you need to give yourself time to think. Jake has drunk three cups of tea since she sat down. Remember that we can also say the sentence like this. Since Jake sat down, she has drunk three cups of tea. If since comes at the beginning of the sentence, that is to say, if the dependent clause is first, you need a comma to separate the clauses. Here's another example. Here is the day that Frank downloaded some software onto his computer, the 22nd. But now, look at all the viruses he has on his computer. Try making a sentence with these words, putting since at the beginning of the sentence. Again, you will have to change the form of the verbs. Since Frank downloaded the software, he has gotten several viruses. Or, if you're speaking British English, you can say, has got. As a final check, let's see if you can find the errors in these four sentences. I have swam since I was a child. Since the moment Emily started learning Spanish, she has enjoyed it. Ever since I have woken up, I've had a headache. I crashed twice since I got this car. You may want to pause the video to allow yourself time to think. First, the past participle of swim is swum. A lot of native speakers get that one wrong, so if you got it right, then great job. 
Sentence two needs a comma because the dependent clause is first. In sentence three, we must use the simple past in the dependent clause with since. And finally, we must use the perfect tense in the independent clause when we use since in the dependent clause. Okay, great work.